It was an incident. The same incidents uh, happen every day in the U.S. and in the European cities. The Islamic Republic of Iran responded swiftly and followed the issue. But I would like to mention the fact that the Western countries and some European countries and the U.S were making use of this incident as a project against the Islamic Republic of Iran. امروز آمریکا مجبور برای ضربه زدن به دولت هایی که میخواد به اونها ضربه بزنه جنگ ترکیبی ایجاد کنه که جنگ ترکیبی برای او بسیار هزینه زاست. آخرش هم به نتیجه نمیرسه. It's easy to tell what the Americans are up to. You just have to check all the propaganda being plastered everywhere. President Joe Biden and America are desperate to bat for Israel. They'll continue supporting protesters out there in Iran on the first anniversary of the start of the protests sparked by the death of Masa Amini. Masa Zina Amini died in the custody of the regime's so-called morality police. She'd been arrested for supposedly doing something that should not have been a crime in the first place, wearing her hijab too loosely. They've also confirmed the imposition of new sanctions against Iran. This means Iran will be coming into days and months to violent events and bloody clashes in the streets and squares all across the country, especially the capital, Tehran. The first anniversary of the death of Masa Amini falls tomorrow, and this death came after her arrest on charges of violating the strict Islamic dress code. However, we heard conflicting opinions about this mysterious death in custody, as the authority said that it came as a result of heart problems, whilst American propagandists say she died under torture. The Iranians have done a good job controlling the protests. Of course, America and its allies are meddling in the internal affairs of Iran, but Iran has kept it all together, just like the way they have succeeded in coexisting with American economic sanctions for more than 40 years. These people have become self-sufficient. We have Taliban crying day and night over frozen assets, but the Iranians have not been crying. They've ignored American sanctions and also thrived by producing their own defense weapons. Not only that, they're also at the brink of becoming a nuclear country. And that's what the Americans and the Israelis are worried about. When Iran produces those nukes and integrates them with their ballistic missiles, it's going to be a complete game changer in West Asia. After Biden's statement of support for the expected Iranian protests, Britain, France and Germany signaled to renew their economic sanctions on Iran. This of course is illegal and this move truly confirms there's coordination between the Western coalition led by America to destabilize Iran's security and stability. So how will Iran respond? <laughs> كله في دائرة نيراننا لكن النقطة الأهم اللي بدي احكيها هي هذا الشويط الساحل بشوف أنا حابب أقدم هذا الشيء للرأي العام ليعرفوا قديش إسرائيل أوهن من بيت العنكبوت هذا المربع اللي يعني في أحسن الأحوال بقلب المستطيل عنا 1200 كيلو متر مربع ولا شيء يعني لأنه يعني بقعة صغيرة حكومة مكاتب وزارات الحكومية وزارة الحرب قيادة الجيش رئاسة الأركان مطار بن جوريون دولي مطارات داخلية قواعد سلاح الجو منشآت عسكرية تحوي أسلحة غير تقليدية عندهم هون مصانع بتروكيميائيات عندهم مصانع نووي بهذا I think the Iranians will raise uranium enrichment rates to more than 90%. That way they will prove to the world that they can acquire nuclear weapons within days in self-defense. All allied military arms will be on high alert, especially in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Yemen and even occupied Palestine to engage in any upcoming war against Iran. There'll be major disruptions of shipping lines in the Strait of Hormuz and the Arabian Sea. Iran will even move closer to China and Russia and forge defense pacts. What I'm trying to say is destabilizing Iran's security and stability will backfire for the Americans and their allies and it will set fire to the entire Middle East. 
The Biden regime is playing with fire by bowing to Israeli pressures. The American elections are close. With an elderly and frail Biden, he needs to prove something to his electorate and the only way he can prove this is by being a tough man and playing with fire against Iran. And, uh, another line going from in, in Florida down to Tampa. Of Putin's kleptocracy. Uh, uh, yeah. I think his foolishness can even lead to a strike against Iran because he realizes his end is near. But he must be careful because striking Iran will also strike the entire Middle East and Allah knows best. Thanks for listening to the Independent Islamic Republic. Have a wonderful night. We haven't been able to communicate it in a way that is, uh, um, let me say another way. But the nature not a solid meeting with um, with uh, the uh, they make a very good point. Here's the deal. Here's what drives the driver in the states that are affected. Here's what the, you can do, the drivers. We want to expand pre-K for three and four-year-olds, millions of pre-K. The um,